Welcome back. Tonight we are hearing from the Resurrection Parish in Dubuque following charges against former priest Leo Riley. Now, Father Riley is accused of sexually abusing four Resurrection altar boys back in the mid-1980s. Well, tonight KWWL's Dubuque reporter Tara Kanishny sitting down, sitting down, I should say, with the current Resurrection pastor for his thoughts on this ongoing case. Pastor Phil Gibbs has been a part of Resurrection Parish in Dubuque for six years now. He said during his time here, he has not heard of or talked to the former assistant priest. He says he is deeply saddened by the news. It's just sadness. It's just so sad that these things have happened and, you know, it's a, you know, it's a tragedy that it happens, especially to our little ones that are most vulnerable. When asked about prevention of abuse by leaders of the church, Pastor Gibbs says they are mandated to go through online courses for child protection and creating a safe environment for children. It, it covers, you know, appropriate behaviors and, and just to watch for other persons' behaviors too that might be uh, questionable with our young people. Pastor Gibbs sends a message to not only the alleged victims of the abuse, but also those who doubted their faith hearing about it. First of all, to the victims, uh, it's such, such a sad occasion and uncalled for. Uh, but those that have their faith shaken too, that's another repercussion or consequence of all of this. Uh, the understanding that you know, it's, it's more in isolated situations than nationwide. I asked Pastor Gibbs about what he wants the community to know about the Catholic religion and church in light of the allegations. It's, unfortunately, there's a lot of humanity in, in the church itself too, and there's some bad actors. And so uh, please just don't lump those bad occasions uh, to the whole. Pastor Gibbs also commented on the state of church leaders who commit crimes against children. There's a, there's a sickness that's there that needs to be addressed, and I think the church has done uh, good things, you know, in the last 20 years in terms of really, again, educating leadership. I did ask the pastor if he had addressed the charges to his congregation, and according to him, he read the statement put out by the archbishop regarding the situation in a service and says the members were thankful that he addressed it. He also says he continues to pray for the healing of this community and, quote, a quick and peaceful resolve. In Dubuque, Tara Kanishny, New 7 KWWL. All right, Tara, thanks for the report tonight. By the way, one man who asked to remain anonymous told KWWL News earlier that he and his brothers used to be at the parish inside the same church with Father Riley when they were kids, but they said they never heard of any stories of him being inappropriate with anyone. For now, Riley's trial date is set for July 30th.